Hi everybody, hope you are all well. So I have done a similar set of nails like this on my channel, um, but it was just so gorgeous and there is a few different tweaks to it, so I thought I would still upload it. So this is an infill that I'm doing. Um, so I will be using some gels and then I'm using some of the Nail Stamping Queen UK's glitters. Um, definitely check out her website this one is um like a mermaidy type one it is gorgeous so as you can see there's um purple silvers um aqua colors just really good but it's uh, it is a pain in the arse because it is such a chunky glitter so i just pick up a small bead of acrylic um and then pick up because they're like quite big hit um hexies i was going to say hexies um so you do need to move them around that nail plate a lot to get them into place obviously i didn't want no gaps in the nail um you know i wanted every bit of the nail covered so just work it baby until you can get them in place um when you get there it does look fantastic but i'm not going to deny there are a pain in the butt so anyways the ones that i'm just doing gel i'm just doing a small infill and um, she already had a set of nails on um so it was just a very small um infill so obviously I just you know filed it all down and just the I filed out the growth line um so on her index finger I'm just filling in the the growth bit and then um on the tip where you can see like her natural like smile line I'm just going to go in with one of um diamond glitters glitters which is a holographic um like aquary tealy greeny whatever color you want to call it it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going in on the tip and just using her natural smile line as a guide it doesn't have to be peter perfect because i am going to go in with some gems in any ways um so just trying to neaten it all out so i just picked a very small ball of um cjp's crystal glass and then just dipped it into the raw glitter and just um you know like building that up so i've got a full coverage on it um and i am using my alpha number eight brush um so on the thumb i'm also going in with a gel polish so i'm just going to slightly you know do that infill um and then i will go in and encapsulate the two glitters um so as i say just especially with chunky glitters just make sure that you have you know um a nice coating of acrylic on um because i have done it before where i haven't had enough acrylic and then when you fail one of them bits of hexes comes flying out and then it just yeah it just doesn't look good guys so it's but i mean you should in any ways when you're encapsulating any glitters but especially when you are encapsulating you know like chunkier stuff um you know just make sure that you do have a nice coating of acrylic on but nothing too bulky you know nobody wants a a fat ass nail so um I'm just going to encapsulate this glitter and then I go in and do all of my filing um, and then I remove all of the dust off the nail ready to go in with one of Madame Glam's um, three-step gels. So this already has the base coat in, obviously the colour and the top coat as well, which is super shiny and it has a tacky free layer, which is even a bonus. So this colour is quite sheer, so I did go in with three coats. This colour is called Cat Eye and you can see it's just a really nice like Cadbury's purple, um, but it does have some glitter in there as well. So, um, as I say, three coats curing in my LED lamp for 30 seconds each time. Um, and once it comes out the lamp, you know, it's all dries, no tacky layer, nothing. So, it is fantastic stuff. I love their three-step gels. Um, they're beautiful to work with. But as I say, this one's just a little bit cheer so you just need to build it up a bit more so now i just go in with my blue sky um no tacky gel top coat um and just look at them 
gorgeous um so obviously just do that to all of the nails well apart from obviously the purple ones um and then i pop that into my led lamp here for 30 seconds and that's it guys so i really hope that you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye